What's going on guys, it's Gizmodict here and this is the unboxing of the Gigabyte Z97X Gaming 7 motherboard. This motherboard is a part of my $2000 gaming and editing PC build and I would like to thank Gigabyte for sponsoring it. So coming to the Gaming 7, it belongs to the latest gaming lineup of motherboards from Gigabyte. It runs on the newly announced Z97 chipset from Intel and supports Haswell, Haswell Refresh and even the upcoming Broadwell CPUs. Being a gaming-oriented motherboard, it offers some very nice overclocking, networking and audio features. On the box, you can see the Gigabyte G1 gaming branding all around and on the back, there are a list of features offered by this board. It has a plethora of features like SATA M2 connector, SATA Express, SLI and 3-way crossfire, killer gaming networking platform and even 4K support. So now let's dive in and see what we get inside the box. So inside the box, as I lift this tab up, the first thing which we see is the Gigabyte GA Z97X Gaming 7 motherboard. It is a full ATX size motherboard and as you can see, it features a cool red and black color combination. I'm going to keep it to the side for now so that we can check the other contents of the box. Further inside, we've got two pairs of black colored SATA connectors. There are two right angle ones and two straight ones for a total of four SATA cables. Then we have a user manual for the motherboard with the G1 Gaming logo on the cover. Inside this manual, you can find two stickers from Gigabyte which you can use to show off your new G1 Gaming motherboard. We also have an installation book in various languages followed by a driver disk, an SLI bridge for NVIDIA GPUs and an IO shield which you can put at the back of your case. So this finishes the unboxing of the Z97X Gaming 7 motherboard. Now let's take a look at the board itself. So here's the star of the show, the Gigabyte GA Z97X Gaming 7 motherboard. As you can see, this board features a red and black accent which is new this time as the previous generations of Gigabyte gaming motherboards featured a unique black and green color scheme. There's a lot of debate online regarding this change in color scheme but ultimately it depends on personal preference. We have the LGA 1150 CPU socket at the center of the board along with a Gigabyte branded heatsink and a PCB with the eye graphic. I am a fan of red and black color scheme so I have no issues with the color of the board. The motherboard features 4 RAM slots and you can put up to 32GB of DDR3 memory. I will be using 16GB of G-Skill Trident 2400MHz RAM with this motherboard. In terms of audio, we have the Realtek ALC 1150 chip with built-in amplifier and 7.1 HD sound. Gigabyte has used some very nice designing techniques to provide high quality audio. They have separated the audio zone from the rest of the motherboard and they have also put a noise guard to reduce all sorts of electric interference. Moreover, they have placed gold-plated capacitors and audio ports so as to provide a clear audio. Gigabyte Amp Up Audio is also present in this board and there are various upgrade kits available for it. I might get a chance to make a separate video for the Gigabyte Amp Up Upgrade Kits, so I'll let you know about it. Coming to the PCI connections, we have three PCI Express lanes running at by 16 by 8 and by 4 supporting 2-way SLI or 3-way crossfire. There are also legacy PCI connectors available on this board. In terms of rear I.O., we have the PS2 keyboard and mouse ports, the gold-plated DVI, VGA and HDMI connectors, along with 4 USB 2.0 ports and 4 USB 3.0 ports. We also have a Qualcomm Killer E2201 Ethernet connector and finally we have the optical audio port along with the gold-plated audio connectors. Other features include an onboard power, reset and clear CMOS button along with a debug LED display, dual BIOS switch and physical voltage read points. There are 8 SATA 3 connectors along with SATA Express and SATA M2 connectors. There's also an extra power connector for the PCI slot. Finally, we have the front USB 3.0 connectors and a support for up to 6 fans on board. So for about $175, the Gigabyte Z97X Gaming 7 motherboard offers a lot of features. I will be using this board in my $2000 gaming PC build and soon I will be back with a full review of this board with various benchmarks and overclocking tests. 
In case you want to buy this board, the link to it will be in this video's description. Please like the video if you liked it and do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on the upcoming PC build videos. If you would like to ask me any question or give me some feedback, do let me know in the comments or on my social media pages. All of the links are down below in this video's description. Thank you for watching and I will be back with a new video soon. Peace.